say that we fall in love chilled at home um, I put oh I put together my other bookshelf so that's set up so the content video is coming along okay so y'all will see the room soon and I um that was pretty much it I really just chilled watched on TV did my um did my bookshelves and yeah so today is Sunday I am doing something new I am really really trying to force myself to go out and do things because I'm such a homebody especially if I have to go out and do something alone I can go out to like a um you know like we did Friday like go to lunch go to Target you know go do like some shopping buy some new body care perfume something like that but to go out and do like an activity or you know something different so what I'm gonna be doing today is going to this place called I'm trying to fix my clippings. I'm about to work on my hair. Um, going to this place called Mala Market. Oh yeah, I feel like that's much better. Called Mala Market. Um, it looks kind of like a, uh, kind of like, uh, I don't know exactly if it's indoor, outdoor, how it looks, but I guess kind of like a French market where they have like different vendors and stuff. So I saw this, um, this reel yesterday of this girl getting a um an aura picture which i've always wanted to get one of those it's so cute you literally sit in like this little booth thing and i guess it like um it can see your aura basically like the colors of your aura so y'all know i'm into all the spiritual stuff okay so i definitely want to do that that looks super cute um looks like they have like they have other vendors so i don't know exactly what else is going to be in there i don't know if there will be other like um like activity type things to do or if it'll just be things you can buy like different oils soaps jewelry art y'all know that kind of stuff that's at like a market so yeah we're gonna start there and then um i kind of want to get some permanent jewelry i want to get a permanent anklet i've been wanting to get permanent jewelry but i was just like do i want to get permanent jewelry like can i really see myself really see myself like permanently having jewelry on all the time but i'm like i feel like i could see a permanent anklet at least for like summer so right now it's march baby it's a, a cool 80 degrees <laughs> in houston today so i'm gonna be wearing um that little tan colored dress i got from target on friday with my little black um little black platforms so yeah that's what's going on. Oh, so I'm saying all that to say that I feel like now with summer coming, I'm all about an anklet. So I feel like I could get like a cute little thin gold um, permanent anklet to put on now. And then I feel like keep it, you know, I'll keep it for the next few months, at least through. I feel like I don't feel like redoing these braids, but I might have to um, keep it on for summer. And then, you know, after summer, if I decide, all right, I've had enough of this, I'll just cut it off. And like, I'll have definitely got my money's worth <laughs> from wearing it for like six months. So that's what I'm gonna do. I also, um, we're gonna see how long we stay there, but I'm also thinking about maybe going to get my Travis piercing changed out. I have a bar. I've been having this piercing for 10 years, <laughs> for like over 10 years at this point, but I still have a bar. So I can't, when I went to go get my Rook pierced, they were like, oh, you can come back and we can change out your tragus um, piercing for you. So I might go to do that. They have a studs here. So I might go to studs and go, um, go have them change that out. We might get some food, whatever. Like, I don't know. So we're just going to see, we're going to start off at the Mala Market though. They open... I think it said 11, 11 to four on Sundays. So my goal is to be out the house by 12. It's 10, like 10 ish, a little after 10. I'm thinking I'm just, I know what I'm wearing. I'm doing my hair now and I think I'm just gonna do ooh, some light, a little light makeup. So yeah, that's the plan. I really, I need to do my hair again. Like this is enough of these, this little clip and hairstyle with these two braids. I'm over it. I started to literally randomly last night at like midnight, just um, go do my hair and take it out, which I kind of wish I would have because then it would have been done now, but that's cool. 
This is, um, I'm just like, mm -mm, this look a mess. I can't, I can't, I can't have my hair looking like this. So I'm gonna have to redo these braids. And I just, I'm just over this. I've had enough of this. I need something, um, something else. I think I'm about to do that, um, that claw clip hairstyle. I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair. I think I'm just gonna try to do the claw clip hairstyle for like a week on this like old hair. So we'll see. But that's what's going on. I really, I literally just wanted to give y'all a, um, a update, let y'all know what the plan is for today. So I'm about to go ahead and continue getting ready, and then I'll come back, you know, in a little bit, check in and um, we'll get dressed and all that kind of stuff. to be jasmine peach by eos if y'all don't have this you need it I, you need it you need it you need it especially with um can y'all hear over that i don't know that's the bathroom fan um for spring summer absolutely when i tell you this smells amazing and then y'all already know i love kingdom gorgeous by bath and body works i do have the matching body lotion for this but i just want to try something different and just try pairing these together and then i love this scent this is a little sample size bottle from lancome this is i think it's va bell is how you say it um love this they sent me this in pr i definitely want to get a um a real bottle like a full size bottle once i run out of this because it smells so so good normally y'all know i love to mix the oil in with my body cream but I don't know you know like that's I love to do that but it kind of also depends on what am I putting on so I think with this um dress I'll probably put a little oil on after I put the dress on I don't want to get um oil on I think it might leave a stain so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize oh I just wanted to let you, let y'all know what I was putting on <laughs> okay makeup is done real light makeup I really want this to be like my summer look <laughs> So I'm gonna have to keep my eyebrows laminated because when you don't have to do your brows, like things are just different. <laughs> it, you can move, it literally takes me, when I do my brows and they're not laminated and I really like, you know, be filling them in and like really carving them out with concealer and all of that, it takes me at least 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes. It could take up to 15, depending on, you know, like if I mess it up or like, you know, just how good it's looking, how perfect I'm trying to get it. So to not have to do that and to take 10 to 15 minutes off of my makeup routine is really a dream for real. So I have to, um, I have to keep my eyebrows laminated this summer because it just, it really, really gives, it really gives. I'm just oh, covering up these gray hairs. <laughs> gray hair in the middle I literally have I think I told you this I have two gray streaks like right here right at my middle part and I have not colored my hair in months months so I'm just doing a little coverage with this I think my hair came out cute though so I'm like okay yeah now that I redid my braids I could probably I like really freshened it up so I'm like I could probably rock this for another week. Let me put a little bit more deodorant on. I think I'm about to switch deodorant. Have y'all seen the Shea Moisture Even Tone deodorant? I I think I saw an ad, like a, a picture ad on Instagram and I was like, oh yeah, like I think I want to try that out. I know we were all about the aluminum free <laughs> and I'm pretty much done with this but I'm kind of like, is that really, really gonna do what I needed to do for summer? I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me spray a little bit more of this. A little bit more body spray. I 
I really kind of like drown myself in, in body spray and then put my perfume on. So let's see. I really, the lighting is better. I really want to wear silver jewelry because this dress is a cool tone dress. So I just feel like, I just feel like silver looks better. So I'm just like, this is cute, I feel like. And I feel like I want to do a cross body just because it adds a little something to the dress because it's so plain. So let's see. I think this and then I'm wearing my Apple Watch. Now, my Apple Watch is gold, was rose gold, but it's like, you know, it is what it is. It's always rose gold, like no matter what I have on. So put that on. Of course, I'm going to wear my e Block bracelet, so I'll put that on. And then, let's see, do I want to wear more crystals or do I want to wear, I should, I need to wear these crystals because this is transformative energy <laughs> and we're trying to do new shit. Yeah, the crystals look pretty. Okay, um, rings, silver rings, silver rings, silver rings. Oh, snake for sure. So give me that. I think I'm going to wear it on this finger. Give me that. Give me... Um, I really like this, but, mm. okay, I think I'm going to go with these rings and then I don't think I'm going to do a necklace today. I think I'm just going to wear these little silver, these little silver hoops that I got from Target. Okay, y'all, I'm dressed. Oh, I'm dressed. <laughs> I'm eating a chewy bar. Before I go, this is the final look. I think this came out so very cute. Target, I need every color. Every single color. I didn't get the, y'all know I got this color and the lilac. I need the black. I need all the colors. Because this is just too easy to not have this dress in multiple, multiple colors. So, yeah, I feel like the silver jewelry looks really nice. So, yeah, girl, let's go ahead and head out. Okay, we made it. So, this is cute. It is inside. So, it's $12.49. Um... It is inside and they do have parking. So they have one, two, three, four, maybe like six spots right here in the front. And then there is available parking like on the street. So yeah, I, girl, I love anything with a parking lot in Houston because you pull up and it's either no parking or it's valet. Who has the time? So yeah, this looks cute. Um, I, I don't know. It's it's cute. I don't know. We're got to see. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like a, um, a outdoor something but it's literally not so we're gonna see it doesn't look like it's super crowded but i don't think i mentioned that the rodeo is this weekend that's not my thing <laughs> i'm not a a crowd type of person y'all know like i don't really go to concerts i don't really yeah like that's like that's just not my thing so no i did not go to the rodeo so that could be another reason why i don't see like that many cars um but yeah we're about to go in here get our little aura reading and maybe buy a little something cute and then um go get my piercing changed and then we'll see i did see this thing um i forgot to, i think it's called buff city soaps about making bath bombs and i was trying to figure out how the classes work i didn't see it's like a franchise so they have like one website and it was no information about like how to book a class if you can just like walk in and make bath bombs or how it works but of course i saw a reel on instagram of a girl and being like oh this is so fun like go here and make bath bombs or whatever so they opened at 12 so i might just call them when i leave here and see like how it works like can you just walk in and make a bath bomb or do you have to like make an appointment does it have to be a class an event you know etc so yeah girl let's just go ahead and go in here Are y'all doing aura readings today? Is um, that in here? Not here today. Oh, it's not here today? Okay. Okay, so 
that was interesting. <laughs> so literally what it is, Okay, so literally what it is, is like a little indoor store where they have a bunch of different vendors stuff set up and you can, you know, like purchase their products or whatever. I don't know if anything is upstairs or not, but it looks like they do have an upstairs. Now, apparently the aura readings are not here all the time. I thought it was a thing like you can, you know, come any day of the week and get one done, but apparently you can't. So that's not even a thing. <laughs> and that was like the main, main thing that I wanted to do. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm dressed now. So maybe I'll go get some food. Um, let me call the bath bombs place and see what that's about. I think it's Buff City. Okay, it says it's only 13 minutes from here. So let's see what they say. Hi, I'm Hi, I'm calling to find out if you guys have any bath bomb making classes today. Like, how does it work? Can you come in at any time? We have it on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, four to six. Okay, and you have to call and make a reservation. I don't see any information on the website about like classes. Mhm. Mm um, we also have a party. How many people were? No, I'm not. I'm not looking for a party. I didn't know if you could just like walk in, you know, and just do it as like an activity. Yes, it's only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and um, just call and then dance. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no, she said Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, four to six, you can um, come in and make one. Kind of weird that they don't have it on the weekends. Like, that's kind of odd, but okay. Um, so let's see. I'm already dressed, so I'm about to find something to do. Let's see. Let's go do my piercing since that was also on the list. So let's see where's studs. Okay, studs is 16 minutes from here. Oh, 16 minutes from here, but I don't have to get on the interstate, which I love. So let's head there, because sometimes they have a wait, and I might have to like put my name on the list or something. So let's head there. Okay, we made it. So we are in Rice Village. I have literally never, it, baff it baffles me every time I come, hold on, because I'm putting in this parking thing. 6733. Um, every time I be going somewhere, I feel like I end up in a new area. How long should I do? 30 minutes? I mean, I don't, I guess I could just do an hour. I, no, let me just do 30 minutes and then I think I can, um, 30 minutes is only a dollar and 20 cents. I see this, um, this mix blend bar across the street and it's where you can make your own lip glosses and stuff. I don't know if they, um... I don't know if you can just walk in and do it. We had, actually, I know I already told y'all that my family's coming to visit at the end of the month and we're gonna do an activity. So we had that on the list, but we also had a candle making class on the list. And I think we're leaning more towards the candle making class. Um, hold on. More towards the candle making class. So I might go over there and see if I can make a little lip gloss. Just cause that'll be cute. Something cute to do since Nothing else was working out. Solid gold options, and then we have the implant grade titanium option. Okay. Hmm. And if you want, since you're tall, you can always use a full make mirror. <laughs> Oh yeah, I feel like that'll be super cute. Yeah, I'll take this. So I need, I'm gonna go grab that jewelry in the back. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, if you can um, turn your hair to this size, I can see what size pose to give you. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my piercing. The They had a wait, so I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna get it myself. So here it is. I should be able to do it at home. She showed me how to do it. So the little mix bar place is right here. So I just wanna see if they have any classes today or anything. Okay, 
so I'm gonna do my piercing when I get home she said they're reservation only you can't just like walk in and make one so obviously we're not gonna be doing that <laughs> so I think that's literally like I mean there's nothing else to do I have a little list in my phone of like things to do something that I want to do but I'm like I don't think I want to do it today is um go to this place called well I think this is a place I want to paint pottery how you how you can like paint um you know like paint stuff like cups plates whatever but I don't think I want to do that today just because I feel like I'm not like dressed for that I don't know so the only thing left to do is to go eat and I'm just like uh so boring I think that honestly the key I feel like to this is going to be activities like yoga Pilates or like an event where I can go and it's like, okay, everybody who's there obviously is interested in this one activity. And then maybe you can meet someone at that point because, you know, just like going out to do like something quick, like you're not gonna meet anybody. Well, I won't say you're not, but like, I feel like the likelihood that you will is less. So, I mean, I guess I could go eat. I just don't know where. I feel like I would wanna sit outside though, cause it's a nice day. We are getting the car wash just because it's literally dirty. I haven't gotten it washed since I got here. So here we are, a little drive-through car wash. I'm not getting out to do the vacuum or anything, just this super quick. And then I'm going to head over to the Galleria. Um, I literally just typed in Grand Lux and I'm gonna just go there and find something to eat in that area. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be something. I feel like I, this, I, what? <laughs> Moxie's? I feel like I've seen that and I feel like they have a patio where you can sit outside. I want to sit outside because the weather is nice even though it's kind of hot, but also I don't have, um, I don't have a jacket, so yeah. piercing which is good I can go home and change that out because I've been wanting to sw switch out this tragus piercing for like a really long time now so got that I can do that I got my car washed and that's it <laughs> and that's it I could I might just go back and just walk around in TJ Maxx and Marshalls I, but for what like I don't need I already did like some shopping on Friday when we went to Target and got all the little um the dress that I have on like the other cute little things I got from Target so I'm just like I don't really need, I don't really, I'll just be going like just to go. Like there's nothing in there that I'm like, oh yeah, I want to go look for such and such. Like not at all, even though it's right over here. Um, I was trying to go get something to eat. I came over here by the mall. Mm, I don't know. I was kind of like just looking to see. I know I mentioned Moxie's, right? I didn't really like anything that they had on their menu. Maybe I should look again. Cause they... Like I, like I said, I wanted a cute little sit outside type of place. And so they had this um, sushi on post oak, but like, I don't want to sit and look at a parking lot full of cars. Like they don't have no greenery over here. Like it's no ma'am, no ma'am. That's not what it's giving. So literally let me look at this menu one more time and make sure that there's nothing on here that I want. I was not excited about the menu when I saw it. So that's why I'm just kind of like, mm, I could eat this. They have a Caesar salad and you can add salmon. I could eat a salmon Caesar salad. So maybe I will go do that. And they have calamari as an appetizer. So maybe I will just, I'll go here. They have nachos, guacamole, and I could do chicken. But I'm like, go here. Like I'd rather go to a Mexican restaurant if I'm gonna get nachos. Okay change of plans let's go to moxie's i didn't see that you could add salmon to that caesar salad so that really gives me a little bit more um something it's literally like right over there so i might just trash this whole clip because i said i wasn't going anywhere and now i am okay okay so clearly this is a popping little place you know what, I'm just about to go walk to Marshalls and Home Goods because it's literally right here, but um, it was like super crowded in there and they had a 30 minute wait for one person. I was just like, don't worry about it. 
So we're starving, haven't eaten anything, so we'll just go to Marshall's and TJ Maxx, walk around a little bit, and then go home because I mean, you know? At this point, let's just not even bother. <laughs> this please for summer for vacation of course but for summer in general too cute <laughs> right. 25 okay y'all so i didn't look through the whole store i literally just looked at the matching sets so i picked up four one two i picked up two matching sets i think all three of them are skirts and one little like all in one so let's let's try these on and then so I feel like this is actually cute. It's just the pants are too short. Y'all can see, no ma'am. This is different though. Hmm. I feel like the camera is not doing it justice. It's cuter in person. Very much everything. What? This is too cute. Can y'all see the material? All in one black like yoga set. Wide legs. I don't know if y'all can tell. Yeah, wide legs. This is super cute. Only thing is, I have a long torso, so it kind of, I mean, it goes in pretty good, but I could have a little bit more in, in the back, but I think I'm gonna get this. This is cute. We're back home. I went. What was the last thing I showed y'all? I think the trying on clothes in Marshall's. I did get. Let me show y'all what I got. I mean, y'all saw it. I got the crochet set, the cream color crochet set, and I got black all in one yoga type um, set. That was really cute. So, yes, I went to the grocery store. I'm going to make nachos for dinner. So, we have our ground turkey. Literally, I'm gonna make it with y'all, so y'all will see. Um, y'all will see everything. But I am, girl. I'm trying to make queso. Okay, I'm trying to make queso. I really normally when I make nachos, like before I moved here, I would just stop at um, what was the name of it? I don't remember. But it was like a little Mexican restaurant. What is it called? Because it's like when you um, it's like the line. Like when you go up to them, they like make it in front of you. Not Chipotle. It's called something else. I forgot. Anyway, I used to just go buy queso from this. But I didn't really see, like everything I was seeing from Mexican was like a restaurant. It wasn't just like a, it wasn't like a Chipotle type of vibe. Like, oh, let me just walk up and just order a queso and leave. So yeah, I'm trying, I'm gonna try to make some queso. We're gonna see how that goes. It literally looks like it's only white American cheese and cream and the, um, the green chilies and like some seasonings and that's it. So looks like it's super duper easy to make. I'm so hungry though, it's 4.34, so I need to eat something like, something really small though. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and like, get clean, like take my makeup off, take a shower and stuff, and then um, cook, even though I'm super hungry, but I wanna go ahead and just, you know, get fresh enough and like enjoy my night. So I'm like, what can I have for a snack? The only thing I've had to eat today is that chewy bar before I left, and that was it. Literally nothing else. Probably eat some crackers, like I'm probably just gonna eat some crackers and keep it keep it pushing. Okay, all nice and clean. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do the um let me get the ground turkey because I have put this stuff in the fridge. I'm gonna cut the ground turkey in one and then let's go ahead and make the queso. I actually, let me see, because I don't really have like an exact recipe I'm following. I look back and forth at two of them. This one is a pound of white American cheese, half a cup of milk. Oh, you need butter too. But I didn't buy milk because another recipe said that you could use cream. So I was like, okay, that's better because I don't drink milk. And I don't want to just have that, you know, just sitting around. So, yeah, and then some seasonings. Cumin. I don't think I have any cumin. I don't use cumin. Um, garlic powder, onion powder. 
garlic powder, onion powder, and cayenne. And I'll probably just put some Tony's in it. And then, yeah. Or maybe I shouldn't put Tony's because that's really like salt. So maybe I shouldn't. I'll think about it. I have chili powder, paprika. So I don't know, I feel like seasonings, like you should do whatever. Let me, y'all are so far away, let me move y'all in. But yeah, I, only, I bought a pound of white American cheese, but I'm only gonna use half a pound. So I'm like, half a pound. You probably don't even really need to mix this. Let me divide this in half though. So half a pound of cheese, half a cup of milk, this is how much. This is basically half a cup. So one of these, and then the chilies, two four ounce cans. So I'm cutting this recipe in half, so one four ounce can. This is seven ounces, so I'll just use half of this. That's close enough. Half of this can, most of the cream, and then the cheese. Yeah, so let's go, let's, let's begin, let's begin. from Target and this little top and some my little furry slides. I'm getting ready to run to Sally's. So my hair is in a bun because I'm about to go ahead and take out these clip-ins. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm not putting any more heat on my hair. Like it's done. So I honestly, when I was thinking about it, I was like, this style didn't require too much heat, but it's just that my hair is frizzy. So it's like, it does not mix with the clip-ins. Like it has to be like so straight. So this part right here to cover the back of the clippings is what has had the most heat on it. And I'm just like, I'm not gonna keep putting heat on it. Plus it's dirty, it itches. So I'm like, I'm gonna just take it out. And yesterday I booked myself a little keratin treatment. So I'm so excited. I've been wanting to get a keratin treatment for years, but I really couldn't find anybody in New Orleans. Like when I had first found out about keratin treatments and I was like starting to get like more interested in getting one, I tried to look for people in New Orleans who were doing it and it's like I couldn't find any black hairstylists doing keratin treatments. So when I moved to Houston, I was like, okay, so when I moved to, um, when I moved to Houston, I was like, oh, I know I can find somebody there. So I found somebody to do it and I'm really, really excited. So I booked the appointment, it's in two weeks. So she said, I asked her, could you have to like send a picture of your hair and let her know if it's your first time getting a keratin treatment. So I was asking her if I could also get a color. Cause like I have gray hair, y'all know this. I have my little two gray streaks right here. And she was like, you can't get um, color and a keratin treatment like on the same day. So she was basically like the keratin treatment is gonna kind of lighten it. And like, you can't do like two, like two in one day or whatever. So I was like, okay. So I just booked the keratin treatment. So basically I think she was thinking that maybe I would book the keratin treatment and she was like, I could come back, um, you know, like I guess a few weeks later to get my hair colored black, which I was thinking about doing. And then I was like, no, no, no. Like I really want my hair to be black when I get my keratin treatment done. So 
I looked up a video this morning. I might link the video. If I remember, I'll link the video in the description box down below because it was really informative. I want to dye my hair or color my hair not using box dye. Like I want to use real dye because y'all know box dye is not good for your hair. I don't know why. I don't know all the reasons behind it, but I've heard from many people that box dye is not good for your hair. Plus, it doesn't really last. Like I put a box dye in. By the next time I wash my hair, like it's going to start coming out. So it's just like I want to use a permanent... Um, a permanent dye so I'm gonna get that my permanent color in black now she did say it was gonna well we're gonna see what they have available because I really don't want jet black I really just want like soft black or just like regular black not like jet black like the darkest black you can have I don't like that type of look but if that's the only option then I might just go ahead and get it because she said the keratin treatment is gonna lighten your hair anyway not like lighten it lighten it but I guess like I don't know I guess it'll lighten it a little bit so we're gonna get that and then I need um, 20 volume developer because she said in the video that's the best one to use if you're trying to cover gray. So 20 volume developer, the permanent color. I need, I have to check and see if I have a bowl and if I have a brush. And then of course I have a wide tooth comb, I need gloves. If they have my deep conditioner, the one that I like by Design Essentials, I'm gonna get that because I'm running low. And then I think that's it. Let me, um, let me double check. Let me see, let me see. Cause I threw away a lot of stuff when I was rearranging this. And I think, you know what? I did throw away that bowl and that brush. Cause it had, um, it was like sticky. It had like hair products in it. So I ended up throwing that away. So let me just see. Oh yeah, perfect. And then I already have this by Ion. She recommended the Ion um, products. So that's what I'm gonna look for. Um, she's a professional licensed hairstylist. That's why I'm like, I'll link the video below. Not just like a regular girl, okay? So at the color sealer, I'm definitely gonna use that. I'm probably gonna use, I'm gonna use these, oh, these Vegamore products today. The ones I was gonna use last time, but I didn't. The grow, the shampoo, and the conditioner. And then, um, the after color sealer, which this is by Ion. And then I need a deep conditioner. So I have, let me see, this is my favorite deep conditioner of like all time by Design Essentials. I love this. So I'm gonna see if I can get another one of these. I only have very little, but I have a little bit of this rosemary one. So I'll probably mix those if I can find one. And then I'm just doing a slick back, um, a slick back claw clip with just my regular real hair. Um, Cause I'm probably gonna do it today saturday then i'll probably walk because i'm doing something on friday so i'll probably wash my hair again thursday just so it could be fresh for friday and then i'll have to wash it again before i actually go get the keratin treatment and like not put any products on it like literally just wash it and let it air dry so it could be product free and the um the keratin you know can penetrate the hair shaft really good to, because it won't have buildup so that's the plan let me see i need some gel leave-in conditioner oh shit i'm gonna leave-in conditioner i know i do here it is. Fave leave-in conditioner for natural hair. Kinky curly, not today. Bomb. Okay, I've been using it for years, so I always do that. And then I'm going to do um, gel. So let me see. I think I have Eco. Yeah, I got plenty. Eco olive oil. This is what I always use. So yeah, we're going to work. I actually need to finish up this super big one, so we'll finish that up. So I don't need any gel. So literally, yeah, that's all I need. It's really just the stuff for the color. I have plastic caps too. So I think we're good. Yeah. That's literally all I need for that. Yeah, I have everything that I need. So really just try to get, really just get the stuff for the color and then um, the permanent color, the 20 volume developer, the bowl, the brush, the gloves, and the deep conditioner. That's it. I should be able to get all of that from Sally's. So let's head out. We're back in the car got everything that we needed <laughs> what do we do without youtube like 
when people wanted to know how to do things like before YouTube existed or like even I don't know I guess it was just like word of mouth like if you didn't know anybody who could help you you were just out of luck <laughs> shout out to YouTube okay love it so got everything I already showed y'all everything I'm pretty sure in the store so I ended up just going with this Zotos they didn't have any black no black at all in the ion products so i used to um i don't know if i ever told you this but when i had a texturizer i used to get my hair done every two weeks and i had a, um we have like a family hairstylist like everybody goes to him i used to go to him both of my aunts my mom so like he did our hair for years he still does my mom's hair like honestly he still does my mom and my aunt's hair because they still wear their hair straight and like get color and stuff but y'all know I, I took a break really from it because when i went natural i was doing natural hairstyles and then i started wearing crochet braids so i literally just stopped going to him but when i was going to him he when i dyed my hair blue black one time he used Use this Zotos on my hair and I oh and I remember that so I was like I'm gonna go ahead um, and get this because if he used to use it on my hair then that means it's a good product <laughs> and he will recommend it so I got it and I actually ended up getting a one in which is jet black um, I was a little like nervous at first about the jet black but I'm like she already told me that the keratin treatment is gonna lighten my hair so it makes sense to just get jet black and by the time I get the keratin treatment it should be like the perfect soft black color I don't really like jet black I feel like it's too harsh so that's why I'm like by the time it gets lightened up with the keratin treatment, we should be all good. So I ended up going with the Jet Black. And honestly, this was all that they had. They didn't even have, it literally jumped from one end to three end. So I was like, okay, we don't have a two end, which I guess would just be like regular black or soft black. So yeah, I got that. And then I got the um, the Salon Care 20 volume developer. Now, while I was in the store, I went ahead and pulled up. I had um, saved this video. Well, I put it on my liked um, playlist of Kelsey doing her hair. Y'all know Kelsey and Kendra, okay? The Glam Twins. Oh geez, okay, so I had this video saved from her where she was doing her natural hair routine and y'all know they're um, licensed hairstylists, like licensed cosmetologists. So um, in the video, she explained how to do the, um, the color and the developer and that you basically just need like equal parts. So I think I'll be good. I bought three, they only had three tubes. I bought three tubes of color. She said she used three. Now she has more hair because her hair is like double the length of mine, but I just went ahead and bought three and I know that um developer that should be more than enough um that bottle so yeah we're good we're good we're ready to go um it's 10 34 i really want a banana loaf <laughs> i really want a banana loaf from starbucks now they have a panera across the street but i just i don't really eat panera like what would i get i would i would prefer like i don't really want i don't know i don't really want like any egg like i could really go for a starbucks so let's see no, I don't want that one because that one is in Kroger. I'm not going inside. This one, River Oaks Shopping Center. Does that mean I have to get out? Because not doing that. Must. Not doing that. Okay, next one. Not worst service ever. <laughs> okay, um... But do I have to go inside? Why does it look like they don't have a drive-thru? This one is only five minutes away, so let's just go pass by. If I have to go inside, I'm probably not going, but um, let me see. Because this would mean that I don't have to worry about like putting anything together. And honestly, I have to go to Trader Joe's. I'm not going today, but like I have to go to Trader Joe's to go get... Um, go get like I'm running out of fruit I don't have any almond milk um so I can't make a smoothie bowl that's dead and then I really just don't want any like I could have grits and egg but like I really don't want that so anyway all this to say I want a banana loaf so let's go to Starbucks <laughs> We've made it back. It is 11.01 on the clock, so not bad. Um, I just, I wish it was earlier, <laughs> honestly, but I mean, Sally's didn't open till nine, and I literally just decided this morning that I was going to color my hair. I did not have any, <laughs> I did not have any of this on my mind. I was literally just like, oh, well, it's fine. I'll just have gray hair with the keratin treatment. I'll just have to use my spray, but I'm like, I don't want to use my spray. I want to have it, you know, nice, <laughs> nice and black, so I'm really excited. Um... I went to Starbucks, y'all saw. I got a vanilla bean frappuccino with caramel drizzle and a banana loaf. So we're starting our morning off with lots of sugar. <laughs> but it's fine because, I mean, it's not like I eat this all the time. So it's cool. Um, yeah, everything that we need is in here. Get that receipt. And I guess 
yeah, I don't have to take any of this stuff out. I'm just gonna go bring this in my other bathroom, change. And I'm trying to decide, I think I'll film, my phone is charged, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna film a TikTok too. Um, Cause this is the first time that I'm ever coloring my hair on my own, like without a box dye. I've never, I've, anytime I've colored my hair, I've used a box dye. This is my first time not doing it. So I'm like, yeah, let me film a little TikTok. A little TikTok. So I'll be back after I change. came out so good let me see hold on this middle section will really tell me yeah it did so good no gray ah look no gray <laughs> it gives it gives honestly the middle section is really the section I, I don't know I guess I thought the jet I mean it is dark but I don't think it's like too dark yeah I think I did really good most of my grays are like a few little sparse ones in the front and then this one that's like right down the middle and I think I really, I got that. I was trying to let it sit like a good amount but now that it sit too long because <laughs> I was scared because I had never done this before. I feel like I got all the gray so um, I let it sit for, how long did I let it sit? Like. So from 12.30 to 1, so that was 30 minutes and then including, not including the time that it took me to actually like apply it. So it probably ended up, ended up being, um, sitting a little bit longer. So I feel like it did really good. And then I used this Ion, this Ion Color, Ion Color Defense After Color Sealer. So literally all I've done is rinse out the color and then I applied this. So I'm going to put this, I already put it on, but I'm just like, let me. Put a little bit more. I know I said I was gonna do a full clocklet, but I think I'm gonna do half. I've been seeing, um, well not have been, like not recently, but I've seen them do like, some of the girls, okay, do the middle part with these two sides slick and then have like this down like this in the back and then have the rest flipped up in the clocklet. I think I'm gonna try that. And then, because to me, like if I don't like it, then I can just, you know, slick the rest of this back part 
up and then just do a regular claw clip you know like if i don't like the way it turns out so we'll see but i'm really really happy about the color i feel like it came out really good i don't know i guess i thought i mean it is dark but i i don't think that is too harsh this is actually my first time ever having um like actually using jet black because even when i use box dyes i use soft black so yeah this is good i'm gonna let this sit probably about 10 minutes maybe 15 minutes and then rinse this out do my shampoo my conditioner so yeah it looks good i probably um i am filming my little tiktok so i don't know how much more i'm gonna put on the vlog but we'll just see girl it my camera died when i was um putting the dye in so that's why i just like abruptly stopped but i'm pleased and also it looks like i didn't have any problems with my hair reverting so that's awesome from that little one section that i was worried about that i kept flat ironing over and over again <laughs> so yeah i haven't even clarified my hair yet so i'm just oh my god i'm so excited about the dye like yes so if you want to color your hair at home i mean I wouldn't recommend this if you want to do something drastic but if you just want to just do you know a black dye that's not box dye you really want it to last then definitely do this for sure okay i'm done my hair well sort of i'm sort of done <laughs> it's um wet the back is so basically it's like a half a half down right so these are the curls okay the curls are getting so cute I haven't seen my curls in like so long like I literally I don't I don't know like the last time the last time I did a clock clip with my real hair only was definitely over a year ago for sure and I have not done a wash and go in probably like two years like I I just stopped because it just my hair is a bunch of different curl patterns and I feel like oh I need to put some more gel right here oh I definitely need more gel and I didn't um I feel like I just never liked the way that it came out. So yeah, we're trying this. I'm not gonna do the claw clip part until my hair is like fully dry. So yeah, I really just wanted to show y'all my curls just because they're so cute. If you guys wanna see, well, I already told y'all the products, Eco Styler and Kinky Curly, but if y'all wanna see it, you know, like in action, y'all have to go watch the TikTok. So that's it for today. So that's it for today, it's 426. Literally, I'm just about to clean up the bathroom and then go ahead and like take my shower and just chill for the rest of the night. So yeah, I will see you guys maybe tomorrow maybe not good morning and happy thursday it is 8 <clears throat> 8 46 in the morning i'm pretty sure oh my god i need water <laughs> i'm pretty sure the last thing i showed y'all was me um doing my hair so i think i showed y'all like how the shrinkage was looking so i ended up just putting it all up in a little claw clip and i've been rocking like this for the next few days and i'm gonna i'm probably gonna wash it again like over the weekend or maybe like Monday or something and redo it because I did end up with some white flakes. I used the Kinky Curly Not Today and the Olive Oil Eco Styler Gel and in the past that has been a good a good mix for me so I don't know maybe I used too much leave-in conditioner or I didn't put enough water on my hair. I don't know. I was like so shocked when I ended up with the white flakes. So I bought the um I ordered the Kinky Curly Gel from Amazon and of course we know that works with the leave-in because they're the same brand so i've used it before i just didn't have any but i ordered it so i'm gonna use that next time i um i wash my hair but anyways today is thursday it's thursday morning i'm about to go out and run some errands first thing we're gonna do is go to target um i need to get like a few little household products from target and then i want to check and see if they restock any of the fragrances okay so i could cop one of those and then i also um Oh, I saw this reel yesterday um, of, you know, how the girls love to do the Target reels. So they had this super cute linen. I'm putting my shoes on, by the way, <laughs> which is why I keep disappearing. Um, but they had this, okay, they had this super cute linen skirt set, like a linen, picture like a linen pencil skirt that like comes to your knee with this matching like linen top. I don't know how to explain it. It was so freaking cute. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it's like this color. Ooh, it's like this color. And I was like, ooh. I I need that. I need that. So I think I'm gonna um well not think I am going to Target. So we're gonna see. oh this has red stuff on it. So we're gonna see if they um if they have it. This is finery, not another cherry. This is um a inspired lost cherry. I already put some on, but I'm just like 
refreshing. So, okay, that's what's going on. Let me show you all my fit, which is literally nothing, but I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing Target. <laughs> well, these um, yoga pants, y'all know I got these in olive green and in black, so I'm wearing these, this little tan <clears throat> top and my Vans. So yeah, very simple, but just a little something quick. I have my, um, I have a tap to run to the post office, mail that. This is my little ice chest thing because I need to go to Trader Joe's and that's my wagon. So after I, um, after I go to Target, well, I don't know what the order is going to be, but I need to get gas. I need to go to the post office. I need to run to Target. I need to go to Trader Joe's because I need fruit <laughs> for smoothies. Um, I'm also taking a spiritual bath on Sunday, so I need to get some flowers as well. And then um, that'll be on my spiritual channel. Y'all be sure to subscribe over there if if we're here and you're into that. Okay. And then I also need to run to the grocery store just to get like a few a few little items. I started to do a um a Walmart pickup order, but I just felt like it wasn't enough stuff to be getting delivered. And I'm like, I have to go like. I don't know. I'm just like, I have to go get like some produce. I need to look at like the fish and stuff because just having flounder is not cutting it. <laughs> well, flounder and I normally get like one serving of salmon, but I need, I need like at least one more type of fish. So I kind of want to look around in the grocery store for that. So anyway, I was just like, I'll go. So it's 8.50. Let's go ahead and head out. I will see you guys in Target. Skirt. This is the matching top. So, Target was a waste of time today. <laughs> I feel like I, <coughs> oh my God, wait. <laughs> oh, I feel like I need to get Target a little break. Um, they did have the skirt set, y'all. They had music playing in there, which is why I didn't really vlog. So the music was loud as hell. I was like, girl, I can't even think. Like, can you turn this down? <laughs> so I um I found the skirt set. I didn't like it. I feel like it didn't do anything for me. I tried on an extra small and a small. I felt like the extra small would have been better. Would have I feel like the extra small was the perfect fit, but because they have pockets on the sides, it was like the pockets were like you know making like that crinkly look you know how like when it's like pulling around your hips so I was like no and the small was just kind of like swallowing me up and I was like this it's really not doing anything for my body type and they had a, um, a matching little top I didn't even try the top on because once I didn't like the skirt I was like there's no point in trying on the top so and the top was an extra small I don't even know if that would fit and they didn't have any smalls so yeah that is what it is um I picked up literally the only thing I got was a shave oil y'all know I love the shave oils, my Moroccan Rose is almost out, so I went ahead and just bought um, one of those. And then I was trying to find the Shea Moisture deodorant. I think I already mentioned to y'all about the Shea Moisture Even Tone deodorant that I've been seeing floating around, and I was like, I want to try that. But they didn't have it. They didn't even look like they had a section for it. So I was like, okay, okay, well, I don't know if it's this location or if Target doesn't sell it. But I mean, like, where would it be sold if Target doesn't have it? <laughs> so... Um, so I don't know we'll see um, about that but yeah that's it they didn't I needed some my um have like this little my wax melter thing the light bulb went out so I needed a 25 watt light bulb the only 25 watt light bulbs they had were stained glass and I was like um no thank you I will prefer clear oh it's 10 10 I'll prefer clear so um so yeah that was kind of a waste of time but it's like it is what it is I just got an email from Bath and Body Works that the candles are $12.95. I literally just said yesterday, I need Bath and Body Works to have a candle sale because I only have like two candles left and I don't want to, of course, run out. So I'm like, what are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds that I would receive an email that they are having a candle sale? So I'm in my app. I don't have any rewards. The off Oh, and they have a 25% off. 25% off your um, your purchase. Oh, and a free travel body care item up to $9.95. Okay, period. And the $12.95 candles. So I'm like, let me see. Man, how long am I going to be? The Trader Joe's is literally right here. That's why I came to this Target. So I'm like, I did bring my little... Hello? I did bring my little cooler um, thing. So I don't plan on being too long in Bath & Body Works. I'll probably get probably four well I'm, I don't know should I get five let me see $12.95 I like don't want to spend over $50 on candles so let me see $12.95 times five okay $64.75 and then the 25% oh yeah 
so oh yeah that's literally right at the $50 mark okay so I probably get five candles I shouldn't be in there too long because I kind of like spring is coming so I kind of know what scents I want to go ahead and get let me go ahead and run to Trader Joe's I probably will not even vlog anything in this I'm literally just getting the same fruit I always get and try to find a new kind of fish to add to my little regimen and then um I'll see y'all in Bath and Body Works I literally hate that my car does not allow me to have a car mount like oh my gosh um okay I'm at a red light okay so I just ran to Trader Joe's y'all saw my little basket <laughs> literally just fruit granola I got another pesto pizza and was that it I think that was like pretty much it oh a rice and a fettuccine and then y'all saw I got some oh my god my roses let me put them in the back some pretty yellow roses As I was saying, I hate that my car does not allow for a car mount, but I'm just on like the regular street. I don't have to get on the interstate. So we're on our way to Bath and Body Works. I forgot to, when I came out of Target, I forgot to tell y'all why I didn't get, I didn't show y'all, but they had all the finery fragrances except for um, flower bed in the perfume version, which I really wanted to smell because I'm a floral girl. I love a floral and you know, sp spring is near. Okay, spring is near. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll get that, but they only had the, um, the body spray I knew I didn't want the body spray so I didn't even bother smelling it but they did have the pistachio they had the new rouge and they had um without a trace so the pistachio we already know how we feel about well I don't know in the end I didn't get any of them because I was just like I feel like I'm just like forcing myself to get either the new rouge or the pistachio please I think it's called just out of like trend when I really like I'm really not obsessed with it. I really thought I was gonna love the new rouge, but they didn't have the um, the perfume. They didn't have any options for you to smell them. So literally, I just took the body spray and sprayed it on a little piece of paper I had in my purse, and I was just like, eh, you know. And then like the pistachio, I wasn't really obsessed with that either. So I decided, you know what? I'm about to leave all of these here. <laughs> I'm leaving all these here. Like I'm not getting, I'm not getting any of these because why am I buying this? I'm not really obsessed with the smell. Like there's no reason for me to be getting this. I really wanted to smell that flower bed because I thought I might really like that one, but there's just, there was just no need. So I ended up leaving them all there. So my Target has restocked. So if you want to get one of those, girl, check your Target again because they probably restocked at this point. So yeah we're on our way to bath and body works we're two minutes away and yeah i really just wanted to come back to tell y'all about the um about the finery fragrances that i decided not to get any of them after all that <laughs> well okay
as you guys can tell, we're back home. I just put away, we need a tissue. I just put away most of my groceries. And let's go ahead and do a little back and body work talk. So they have music playing in there. So I was just trying to get a little, little bit of me sniffing the candles, but I ended up getting six, I think. So this is one of them. Oh, I also, so the free body care item, I ended up doing what, it was a free body care item up to $9.95, which is like the travel size stuff. So this is Water Lily and Springs. This smells really good. It's um, fresh. It's like a fresh floral. Literally what it says, water lily, like lily as in like floral and springs, water like fresh scent. So I actually meant to keep, uh, put this in my car, but that's okay. I actually don't have any like fresh smelling type of scents. So I'm really happy that I have this now because this is really nice like after a shower, at night, you know, like when you want something that's just like fresh and clean, this is a nice, nice option. So none of the crate only has six. Thing. So this is another one, bergamot waters. Oh, love me some bergamot waters. I feel like this is just a, a classic spring candle. So we got that. What is this? Oh, I already showed y'all my little um my little shave oil. And then put these receipts to the side. Alright, number one, bergamot and birch. Mm-hmm. Should I bring y'all in? Bergamot and birch. This is vibrant bergamot, black amber, and birch wood. It smells kind of like a forest, like a fresh forest. That's like my, my best description. I picked up two that were like a little more out of my comfort zone, but something like sweeter for, um, you know, for springtime. So this is pink pineapple sunrise. Lily was actually talking about this candle, um, I think in like her last vlog. So it smells good. It literally smells like, like pineapple. It smells like pineapple. It smells, it smells good. Like I like it. Pink pineapple sunrise plus the candle is hot pink. So it's like, this is just super cute. Just in general. <laughs> then I also picked up beach weather. It smells like what it says beach beach weather think of like that type of vibe in a candle sun-dried sandalwood island coconut breezy palm trees crashing waves <laughs> not crashing waves as a smell oh it smells this this beach weather that smells really 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 good i got sunset in maui sun-kissed papaya hibiscus flower and ripe pineapple i got two candles with pineapple it's not oh, it's the papaya it's a fr sweet and fruity, sweet and fruity. Okay, nice for summer. Oh, I also got blue Icelandic waters, blue citrus waves, crisp island woods, and fresh cypress. Think of, this is a little manly, but it's not too manly because I don't like manly candles. Like I'm not a mahogany teak wood or mahogany teak wood intense type of girl, mahogany, coconut, like none of that. It is too, it gives me too much like a man lives here and a man does not live here. And I don't want to be reminded that a man does not live here. So <laughs> I am not, I will not be getting that. But think of like, um, oh my God, what is my, what is my favorite candle? My favorite winter candle. I cannot think of the name of it from Bath and Body Works. I'll put the name on the screen if I remember when I'm editing. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I cannot think of it and it's I burned oh frozen lake oh my god frozen lake is my favorite winter candle it's a little manly so think about that but in like a spring or summer um version if you've ever smelled it mm -hmm. blue I oh blue Icelandic it's really good it's really good and then my last one is springtime in Paris I honestly I just absolutely love this packaging it is this is just so pretty and Oh, springtime in Paris. It's a little sweet, but very fresh as well. A little, and also a little fruity. Soft peach, lotus blossom, and fresh bergamot. Mm. I'm super excited. So I have, I bought six. I have a, um, what's the one? Champagne toast. I have a champagne toast, and I have a, a stress relief, 
left and I'm currently burning Palo Santo and Sage. I would have loved to grab another Palo Santo and Sage but they didn't have any so I was like damn Palo Santo and Sage is a great year round scent. You don't know what to burn, burn that. Like it's just, it's just like a nice fresh scent for your home for any time of year. Not too fresh like laundry but it doesn't matter because they don't have it anyway. So why am I still describing it? <laughs> so I'm about to go ahead and put these away and then let's put our um, flowers together.